What's up, my friends? It's your friend Watchman El Velador 83. Man, I'm coming at you with a new video. And as you already know, I want to talk about something, but it's going to be my own opinion. If you guys been following up my channel, before I state something, before I make it as fact, I'm going to say it's my opinion. It doesn't have to be true, but this is what I think. All right. And if you don't agree with it, you can just cancel this video. You can just move on somewhere else. But if you want to stick around, let's stick around and let's talk about let's talk about what I want to talk about, and it's gonna be about NASA. I don't know if you guys saw my video this morning that I posted. Um, I want to talk about this whole thing with a Trappist satellite or whatever that did discovered seven Earth-like planets. As we already know, NASA, never a straight answer, will always put this little stuff in our minds. They quote-unquote discover stuff. They quote-unquote do this, this, and that. But we all know who NASA is. And the theory they've been putting out is like, yeah, in this far away you know, and you know what? Before I talk about that, here's the article. Here we go. And it says scientists discover seven Earth like planets orbiting a near star. Uh, I'm going to leave this uh, article in the description box so you guys can just go ahead and look at it. It's pretty interesting. The stuff they say, the stuff they theorize about water, about rocky planets, and life. and I'm going to link it up in the description box so you guys can just go over there and um, do some investigation yourself. But, as we already know, and the way I think, call me a crackpot conspiracy theorist, I think it's all lies. In my opinion, there's no other planets that harbor life. I don't think... There is alien life out there because if there was alien life, like, talk, listen to this. If there was aliens, like a more advanced civilization, like technology, weaponry, if they're more advanced than us at all, let's say thousands and even millions, quote unquote, more advanced than us, what's stopping them? To come to our planet and show themselves. How come they don't show themselves? Because obviously they do not exist. If they exist, if they're so benevolent and they love us and they created us, quote unquote, how come they don't show us the cure for cancer, um, uh, better energy? Help us solve global warming. Help us with all the bad stuff that humanity has. How come they don't show themselves and fix that? Why? Because they don't exist. In my opinion, you guys have been, if you follow my channel, I've been talking a little bit about CERN and what CERN is. And check out, you got the 666 symbolism here. In my opinion, they've been firing up CERN, trying to open up black holes here and there, trying to open up dimensions. And if you've been following my videos, there is a main guy at CERN saying we want to open up doors to other dimensions. I don't think these beings are interstellar. I think these beings are interdimensional. I think these people up in CERN have been trying to open the door have been trying to reach that dimension which some beings which I am not going to call aliens and I am going to call the fallen angels and their offspring are incarcerated at. After they fell, they started sinning. God put them in the bottomless pit. And in my opinion, my opinion, CERN is the key to open that bottomless pit. So they've been firing up all these tests, and they be each test test sorry keeps getting stronger 
and stronger and stronger. Which, when you lift up a door, some entities are gonna cross by, and these entities are gonna play themselves out to be that they're aliens. Once you start opening up that door, they're gonna creep in, they're gonna creep in, and they're gonna creep in. These fallen angels know about what they want to do and the lie is we are extraterrestrials we created you and we are here to bring you peace what will be the perfect lie to once and for all get rid of the creator God guess what that's gonna be that is going to be the huge lie that they are aliens that come to save us. Not only me, but this huge religious institution known as the Vatican has already stated that once they find out aliens, they will baptize the aliens and they will be our space brothers. And I get it. Many of you are going to say, well, you cannot limit God's creation just to the human beings. Well, you could be wrong on that. Because God created us in His image. He sent His Son to die once for the human race. Lately, after World War II, all these talks about the UFOs, the aliens, Area 51, blah, blah, blah. It's just becoming so mainstream that a lot of people are falling into this. I mean, how popular are uh, ancient aliens? They are dominating the narrative. There's no way the church is going to be able to fight against that. Why? Because the church rather stay away from this subject. They rather not fight this subject. Why? Because the church does not want to lose. Guess what? Money. There's a, only a few of us that talk about this. Because all these occultists, New Agers, Satanists are dominating the narrative. And us as Christians, it's our job to step it up and start gaining some ground. Because this whole alien narrative is taking a lot of ground. My next point is, once these aliens show up, they're going to be like, yeah, we are your ancestral brothers and sisters. We have ascended into a spiritual level way higher than the human beings. And we are here to teach you that there's no different religions. We should all become one religion. And let's make this because we all come from one source and one source only. And there, this is a perfect chance that these entities and this institution, which I think the Vatican is going to be eating this stuff up and then they are going to be pushing this one world religion. And we already seen the Pope Francis do this. We already see the Pope Francis. But yeah, these aliens are going to come as here as beautiful beings of light, this, this and that. But to my final point is, lately we've been seeing a lot of news about Mars, planets, Planet X. Now with this, this recent discovery of the seven planets. This is all a way to play into your mind. The Bible warns us pretty well. 2 Thessalonians 2.11 For this cause... God shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. Like I've said many, many times, and I'm going to repeat myself, the best lie that you can just totally take God out of your spiritual life, out of your heart, is to put the lie that aliens created us. NASA, all these institutions, all these anti-God institutions want to push this narrative. 
because they want to get rid of God and which lie would be the perfect lie would be aliens exist in my opinion this is getting to a point where time is running out time is getting here where we will see full alien disclosure we will see this and we need to be ready for it. we need to be spiritually and mentally ready for what's about to happen my question to you is are you ready if you believe yourself to be a Christian are you ready for what's about to happen this delusion is gonna be really strong and then again the Bible warns us about it all I'm saying you gotta put on the full armor of God really start getting into your Bible trust in the Lord Jesus because what's coming will shift everybody's paradigm if you're a strong believer in the Bible if you're a strong believer in the Lord our Lord Jesus Christ we need to be out here spreading the word and being good soldiers because that's our duty as good soldiers to spread the word but that's my video that's my analysis about it I'm gonna leave this little article in the description box so you guys can go over there and read it they sound pretty convincing about this. But don't fall for that lie. Don't fall for that lie. They are going to keep pushing this agenda as much as they can. Governments, religious institutions, everything. Oh, I got to tell you, our Lord Jesus is the truth. The only absolute truth. And he loves you. Open up your heart to him. Go to my Facebook page, watch my name, Velador83. Also, when you go to my channel, click on this little bell so you can get notifications as soon as I upload a video. Because I've noticed none of my videos, not a lot of people get notified about this video. So just go over there and just click on, click on this little bell so you can get notified every time I uh, upload a video. Also, if you are new to my channel, subscribe. May God bless you all. Peace.